Excalibur. Seven hundred years. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. <laughs> These guys don't look like the By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. See you later, Captain. Miss Branya, if you'll permit me to call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. In your eyes, the IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy, a place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy, mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. Finally, one fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing, that all inhabitants sign a contract which would make them employees of the IPC. Two years after signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared, and people began to take off their masks. After three years, vegetation and trees began to grow and thrive again. After five years, many animals, previously on the brink of extinction, reappeared. When I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world, and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value, such as survival. How many generations of Bellabogians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee that a disaster such as the Stellaron Crisis will not descend upon Bellabog yet again? I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, all of Bellabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Eurillo 6. 
I can understand that for you, this is an extremely difficult decision. Because you, and you alone, will bear the fate of all Belabagians. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right decision. A decision that will truly benefit your people. How could you even claim Enough! All of you! I know what to do. Wait! I have something to say to the Supreme Guardian. The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the table. Go, Numby. Projects under my wing have no room for error. Like it's just one wild ride after another. I hope I made the right decision this time. Mesmerizing.